Hi everyone, it's Gaban again. This is for my time for my second PlayStation Vita video. Uh, this time we're looking at actually setting up the system first time uh, and getting things up and running. Um, just to inform you that the uh, orange PlayStation logo means that the device is charging. Once it's fully charged, I believe the light goes off. Um, so we're going to actually boot up this. I've actually reset this back to default. So it's right back to the start as if it was going to be a fresh console. Bar the fact I've already upgraded the firmware. I'll go through this with you now. Okay, so the parrot on, obviously you hold down the PlayStation button, and it takes a little while to come up. Um, obviously this, like with things like the 3DS, they don't expect you to actually permanently turn the device off. And so as soon as you turn it on, with the newer firmware, you get the blue PlayStation logo, and then you'll get this boot up here. All right. so the very first thing you do, is you have to integrate the screen, it's telling you to pull this down. So you tear that down. I'll turn the volume up. Okay, so the very first thing you ask is where are you? I'm in the United Kingdom. Then you're asked what time zone you're in. Again, London. So quite easy. Then it will ask you the date and time. Um, by default, it starts off as the um, 1st of uh, January 2011. Um, but obviously mine's had its times and dates set, so that one around. You get quite a nice music with it as well, which we'll turn that down a little. Okay, um, now this is this is the point where I'm regarding the firmware update. Um, it will ask you for a Sony PlayStation Network account. What you need to do, the very first time to do it, because the system will not connect to PSM unless it's got the newer firmware, is touch the no I don't, then say next, and go next again, and we, what it actually does, it actually sets you up, it doesn't actually set you up a proper PSN account, it creates like a, just to identify who you are and your age. So literally just keep going next for all these, um, the age thing isn't important, uh, and it says you now connect to your, ready to go for PS network. Basically it's not created your PS network, PlayStation network ID, but it has um, got you set up with the device within itself, so everything. So you now get this intro video, which I'll play through once, just so you can all see it. This is, this is the one annoying thing with having the to reset the device when you want to do things with it, like setting up different accounts, using different accounts, is the fact that it requires you to watch this video, there's no way of skipping it. So you have to watch this video through, it's a good 2-3 minutes long. There you go, that's the video finished. Uh, this message you won't see on the old firmware, you won't see it on the new firmware. This hint message telling you what you should go to the thing. Go to the thing. Uh, now, because I've got a game in there already, it's installing the data, which it does there. Um, I'll sort that out later. But what you want to do as soon as you get to this screen, if you've just got a brand new uh, Vita, go into settings, get rid of that message there, click start, and then go system update. And if you've got a PS3, you can do it via the PS3, but obviously I'll be using the connection manager, but obviously most people will use Wi-Fi. And then what it will do is it will try and identify a Wi-Fi network that you can use. And I'm actually using my phone at the moment, so it's used up as an as a open Wi-Fi there. Um, obviously if you're going to do this, you have to set up your own Wi-Fi keys and things like that. Uh, as you see, mine's already got the latest firmware. Um, if you have a new device, it will want to download the firmware. Uh, my one came with 1.06, uh, but the latest firmware is 1.61, um, and that is needed to connect to the network. If you don't have the latest firmware, you can't connect to the PSN to download, to connect, to do have an account. So, yeah, once you've done that, then once it's gone through the whole update process and returned, what you then want to do is you can either go into the PlayStation Network and sign up or reconnect or as I tend to do because I'm a 
bit of a, a person who is concerned about this sort of stuff is tell it to restore and get someone to restore it get someone to restore it again and this is the same thing you'll need to do if you want to swap um, memory cards now here you get this option about formatting the card if you are um, looking to use the same card for, all your, for, for multiple counts say no if you don't want to use the same card or if you want to do definitely want to overwrite the format the card and get rid of all the data like I do you'll say yes but by default you want to say no there uh, and you say yes are you sure you want to format what it will then do is it will format the system there you go and it will restart and what I will actually quickly do is take out the game that's in there just so it doesn't reinstall that again and see it then boots back up as I say anyone buying a brand new Vita at the moment which will have the, the older firmware on it with the new firmware out it's best to do it this way because it's the only way you're going to get the update down unless you do it via your, free, your PS3 if you have one or via PC okay so we're then back to here English again and of course once you've done that when you come back to this restart you say yes I do and next and you say you want to use your PSN account now at this point it will then find the network again I'll attach to my default one and there you go then you have the sign anything right so that's now I've just signed into my PSN and there you go you've completed the initial setup so you click OK on that And again, you have to watch this video again, so I'll come back once it's finished. Right, when you get to the home screen, you'll see it's like this. You have panels you can do, and these dots on the side here identify which uh, window you're on. And the more windows you have open, the more, the more windows you have set up. So the more applications you've got installed, the more you'll have. Um, and you can just slide up and down. Having the new firmware on here means that I've now got access to Google Maps, and I've also got the ability to do video within the photo application. Um, but you can just go in and you can just, if for the first time you make sure you've set up something, click on trophies and go start. It will ask you to confirm your ID, that you already have the settings for, it will just ask you to take connect. It will connect to the network uh, and you see up in the top hand corner I've got wireless, Bluetooth and then I've got synchronising which is the, the thing going around and around. Um, and you can see there, that's now picked up my trophies. So if I hit the home button, it basically goes, brings you back to this thing here. Now, the good thing with the Vita is that you can actually have multiple open at the same time. So if I want to go back to the home screen, I just slide that like that. And then I can launch, um, say for example, I can launch Photos, which is the camera application. Click Start. There you go, so that's now launching the camera. I can slide back and then I can just scroll through the open applications. You can see at the top there, there's different applications. I've got camera and the trophies. Just close that, just slide down like that, and it'll close them down, take you back to the home screen. Um, one thing I will point out now is that Sony have gone a bit interesting with regards to parental control. Um, even if your PSN counts as you're an old, older person, the very first thing they will ask you to do is you have to set up your parental control. So you need to go start into settings, and here's the settings window. Uh, you've got flight mode, you can turn on and off. If you turn that on, disables all network, turn it off again, and then network will reattach. You've got system update, which you've already seen, where you can go uh, update via wireless, update via PS3, things like that. To go back, you just have the back button at the bottom. Network is obviously where you can do all your settings um, for doing things like connecting to the internet and you know it will then check there you go it's contesting my network my internet connection so we can let that do and that's also checking the PlayStation network sign in but obviously that'll take a little bit of time to get through it's just gonna it's just gonna confirm my my login to PSN so I'll cancel that anyway um, you can change in there, you can add new stuff, you've got Bluetooth settings as well, you can actually turn Bluetooth off if you want, um, and you've got other stuff like that. Uh, you've then got PlayStation Network, uh, you've also got the App Manager, 
which is where you can go in. You've got save data, uh, add-ons for PSP. Uh, you've got add-ons. You've got save data for PSP and others. You've got PS Vita, and you've got add-ons for PSP games. You've got sound and display, which has got stand options, uh, notification uh, PS button. You can have the lights, things like that. Uh, you can also change the brightness on the system, which is useful. Um, you've got the location data which you can tell if you if if straight from the box you tell it to use location data you'll get this message saying your your parental controls are blocking it what you need to do is you need to go into security parental controls create a new code and then you can enable location data and allow it um, I don't. I'm guessing that's because of obviously, you know, young kids are going to get the console. Uh, in the next video, I'm going to go on about transferring account information to use a different account on the Vita and also restrictions in using software. All right.